Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek Cupboard. I am Penjin. Welcome to Orphan Age. So what is Orphan Age all about? On the Steam Store page, it describes itself as a dystopian life simulator. I would more accurately describe this as a dystopian base building game with a very, very serious and heavy topic at its heart. Because the orphans that we are going to be playing as and controlling and building a base for, indeed an orphanage for, in this game are orphans because of war. They have lost their parents due to war and conflict, and now they are on their own attempting to survive. I mean, look at this guy over here. He's wearing a thing over his mouth that looks kind of sinister. He looks like he means business, and he's holding a baseball bat. The central character here, Taser. They've got a taser. She looks about 10. <laughs> so she's got a taser. So um, yeah, we are going to control a load of orphans. They have been abandoned in a big war zone and we have got to scavenge and craft and survive and evade capture and all that kind of stuff. Currently, this is a demo. This is a demo version. So you can go and download this from Steam if you so wish. You can go and have a look at it yourselves and play it. And um, yeah, it comes out in winter. In winter time, it's going into early access, so we shall keep an eye on that. Uh, just before we dive in, a big thanks to Dave over at the Wee Hours for actually pointing this out to me in the first place. I was entirely unaware of this game's existence, but he uh, popped up on Twitter and said, Hey, check this out. Have a little look at this. You might like this. So uh, yeah, thank you, Dave. Thank you very much. And when you finish watching this video, why not pop over to the Wee Hours and check out what's going on over there too. But here we go. Let's start a new game of Orphan Age. Okay, so there was a little cutscene just there where a soldier kicks the door open and finds us. He finds us hiding away, but instead of reporting us to his superiors, his military superiors, he kind of just leaves us be. Which I suppose, from the soldier's point of view, is okay. Because he's gone, look, I'm doing the right thing. There's some children there. I don't know what's going to happen if I report them. So I'll just pretend I never saw them and I shall leave them be. But on the flip side of that, he is essentially forcing some children to survive and scavenge on their own in a war zone. <laughs> so, you know, there's certainly pros and cons to his decision. So now we get to create our character, which is jolly exciting. So this is the easy bit. My name is Penge. We get to pick who we want to look like. So, um, yeah, there's quite a lot of good good character models going on. There's you know, a good variety. I'm going to pick you because you have a cool hat. I like your hat. I like your garb. I think you look very good. And then we get down to here. So this is an easy start. This is going to be an easy start. And the difficulty is controlled by the age. And the age determines your school grades, which are effectively skill points. So if you start at 12, you've obviously got more skill points because you've been to school for longer. Whereas if you start at eight years old, you shrink in height, your, le <laughs> your legs get a bit shorter, and you've only got six. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to 12 years old because we're going to have those 14 points. It's only a demo. I'd rather play it and kind of, you know, be able to enjoy it and have a look at some of the things we can do rather than struggle through. So um, now, school grades. What do we want to do with these? We can put them into social, which is making friends, recruiting new people and cheering everyone up, which is the, this is cunning. The jigsaw piece is cunning, which is the ability to research, take good decisions and be sneaky. Strength is doing physical stuff and carrying stuff. And technical is crafting and performing technical actions. We've got 14 points to spend. Okay, well, let's put one in each. Let's put at least one in each. Just we've got no skills at the very bottom level, just because that would be a bit rubbish. I quite like the idea of having a bit of technical skill, but I also quite like the idea of social skills. I think they're going to come in useful. They're going to come in useful because, yeah, we can always go out and find food. Food is probably going to be a thing that we can find or we can craft it or whatever. We'll always you know, be able to make something. Whereas social skills, if nobody's got any social skills, everybody's going to be miserable. There's going to be arguments. We need a leader in there. So maybe we'll get that up to, can we get that to a B? A B minus. I will take that. A B is good. I'll absolutely take a B minus. Uh, and then the rest can go in there. So I'll have a C in technical, a D minus in cunning, a D minus in strength, and a B minus in social. So yeah, that looks quite cool. And then we get to pick our story. So corner kid. Now these are random each time, I think. I think these are random each time. So we can just click this little dice and it just goes, duh, 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 and you can pick different ones. Uh, okay, that looks fun. Big brother or sister. So I'll be a big brother. Um, a nanny loves to care, heartache and small wounds. Okay, so I look after people. I'm a daredevil. Physical actions are significantly faster, but has higher chances to get bruises or wounds. And cheerful. Super good at cheering others up. Oh, yes, I'll absolutely take that. So there we go. That's our character set up. Let's get on with it. Penge gets out of the hideout. I think they're gone for good. Penge has the daredevil trait. 
You should stay there. I'll look around. We shouldn't stay around like the soldier told us. Penge vanishes in the dark. Penge comes back a few minutes later. Shoot. The soldiers, they have barricaded the building. We... We can't get out, Charity. And Charity is my sister. There must be a way out. We just need to look around. Let's find it out. Cough. I'm so cold, says Charity. Hey, let me take care of you. Tell me, where's your backpack? I I lost it when we ran away. Pench puts his bag on the ground and opens it. I have a cookie and some water left. It's for you, sis. You need those more than me. Oh, young survivalist Penge is just such a noble chap. Well done. Charity is less hungry. Charity takes it weakly. Yeah, there's a few curious sort of uh, translation issues. I don't know what uh, sort of native language the developer's speaking, but there's a, weird, a few sort of little translation issues over to English. But that's fine. They'll sort that out. This is only a demo. So Charity says, thank you. Charity sadly looks at Penge. Hey, you can't stay there forever. Let me make yourself comfortable. New mission added. Oh, and let's make a fire. It's freezing here. New mission added. And Charity pathetically kind of goes, <laughs> Okay. Okay, so we've got to make a fire and uh, also do something else to help Charity out. So if we do this... Now, because we're in the demo mode, it's going to make me uh, do some little tutorial things. There we go. I can zoom in and out. Yep, and I can rotate the camera. And it unlocks a thing. Hooray! Quest completed already. All I had to do was move about. All that my sister wanted to... Uh, ugh, let me put my teeth back in. All that my sister wanted was to go find our parents, but the war was raging outside, so I told her no. She was cold and tired, so I tried to make her comfortable. I remember how I was believing that we would only stay here a couple hours. Boy, I was wrong. Yay! <laughs> the yay seems woefully out of kind of kilter with the rest of the tone of this game, but okay. Yay! Splendid! We're all on our own and there's a war raging around us. Excellent. Now you'll notice here... The remaining time of 29, 40, whatever seconds. Uh, that's how long we've got left in the demo. The demo only lets you play half an hour, more or less. There's a little caveat at the end. But yeah, so we get half an hour uh, and then the demo just stops. So this is what the game looks like generally. So there is me, stood up. There is my sister. There's Charity, sat down. Uh, this is what we're carrying. So this is what we've got. So we've got no meals. We're stocked upon water right now. Got no medicine, no batteries. Got no resources and no junk. Uh, down here is a little build menu, so that shows who we're looking after. So these are our current orphans. So there's me and my sister, which is lovely. Uh, there's a build menu here. There's a little stock thing to see what we've got. And there's a thing there, which is to do with the uh, rooms in our little orphanage. We've not quite, you know, we've not done much to yet. So we need to do some work on that. So this is our orphanage. And if we come out of that, this is what we've got. So this is where we are. We're in this little building just here. This little sort of run-down building. The soldier came in, kicked the door open, left us alone in here, and they went out. So everything else is pretty much abandoned. So it's a fairly abandoned kind of environment, but it looks lovely. There's proper street lights and nice lighting and buildings and, you know, hostel signs and all that. So it looks kind of lived in. Just zoom in through there. And the building we are in has got two closed rooms. So there's two open rooms when we're in. And this one, this is shut behind a door. And this is also shut behind the door. And you may notice the big the big neon pointy arrow. So here we go, Penns. Your first job is to do this. Go here and search this big pile of garbage. <laughs> there we go. We've hit the level of this game already. We're searching through a pile of garbage. So we uncover little items that we find. So there's some rags. There's some wood. There's some more rags. There's some more wood. I imagine there's going to be rags and wood. Oh, there's some paper. There's some paper. That's good for burning. We'll take some more rags. Also good for burning, I suppose, in theory. Wood, even better for burning. And then rags. So what we can do is we can click on each of these and we can take those back. And this is our little sort of stockpile, our resources stockpile. So I will very, very quickly go through, loot through the garbage pile. Mm -mm, lovely. So do that. And then uh, be able to make a bit of space here as well. Uh, in the top left, we can see my current stats. So my mood is neutral and my stats for hunger, loneliness, health and sleep are kind of in the middle. They don't really change much. I didn't see them change much. So, um, yeah, they will come down. Obviously, as time passes, I will get hungrier and lonelier and less healthy and more tired. There we go. That thing has vanished into non-existence. I have cleared out the garbage. I've taken out the trash. So now I've got a bit of room. So I can now make myself a fire and a sleeping spot. So if you put the fire in the middle, that would make sense. Because then, you know, people in the corners of the room, you don't want to put it in the corner because then everyone has to gather around there. So if we do this, it'll spread the heat out evenly around the place. So we put a fire down 
and I will just go to the resource pile, pick up the bits and bobs I need, and then make us a fire. So you can adjust the speed, so we'll adjust the speed. Meanwhile, my sister is just sort of sat there, not really doing anything. Be nice if you could chip in, sis. Come on. Get off your chair and come and help me. And now our next little mission, which is up here, Sweet Dreams, make a sleeping spot. So it doesn't call it a bed. It's not a bed. It literally is a pile of rags. In fact, should we put them, should we put it near to the fire? That would make sense, wouldn't it? So people could be asleep and also top up their warmth as well at the same time. That would make sense. Let's put one there and then we'll speed time on again just to get that done because you're going to have to go back and forth. Don't go through the fire. It's already, you're already in a bad enough state on your own in a war zone, let alone with burnt legs. <laughs> That's not going to help. There we go. The last bit of rags going down and we've made ourselves a little bed. There we go. So new missions. Gather resources to make an eating spot. Gather resources to build a wash area because we're going to need to wash. And then we have little council meetings. So the first council meeting of our orphanage is me talking to my sister. So Penj has the nanny trait. Do you feel better now, Charity? I know it's not much. Thank you. I'm not cold anymore. But what are we going to do now? Charity's mood improved. I have thought a lot about what we should do. You know, maybe they're safe. Maybe they need us. Maybe they'll come back. We need to find out the truth. But we are trapped here, so we first need to find a way out. Penge is sociable. Remember what they said, be safe and plan ahead. What do you think we should do? Charity thinks for a moment. The soldiers have nailed planks in front of every entry. I'm sure I'm not strong enough to break them. It's impossible to get out. What if we join forces? I'm sure we can do it. Penge and Charity are now best friends. Oh, lovely. Okay. New quest added. Research panel unlocked. Okay. So now we have ourselves a little research panel down here so we can do some research. And Charity is getting warm around the fire, which is lovely. I think I can do the same. So, um, yeah, I can just warm up. I can go stand around the fire, get warm, and probably have a little chat as well, which will affect the sort of social thing, which is lovely. And now I can select also Charity. So whereas before I could only select me, now I can select another orphan who is Charity. Now I'm going to assume that Charity is younger than me because I have five... Uh, little sort of spots for these things. I've got uh, all my ratings are out of five. Hers are only out of three. I did pick the big brother trait, whatever it was. So maybe that's what that is. Charity feels good now. Yay! So she's all good and happy. Right, research-wise, we could research ourselves a crowbar. Might be useful for opening doors. Uh, an armchair bookcase or a workshop. I think a crowbar might be a good idea. That might be a sensible investment. In the meantime, we're going to go through and destroy everything in this room, basically. We're going to search that. And Charity, you can go and search that. So go and search both things. There we go. <laughs> I'm sending my little sister, my poorly little sister, to search some garbage. Yay! <laughs> Aren't I nice? And I found, ah, some meds. Meds are going to be useful. Meds are good. Now, we do need to gather all these resources. So we're going to need some kitchenware. And a bit of cardboard. We're going to need a plastic bottle and a plastic container and also some rags. So there's a, quite a bit of stuff that we actually need to get our hands on to build these things, particularly kitchenware. I mean, where are we going to get kitchenware from? I'm not entirely sure. But OK, so we've got an awful lot of med uh, soap. Soap. That's interesting. That is interesting. Could we use that in the showery thing? We've got to build a sort of wash area. Maybe we could use the soap. OK. So, Charity, grab all those things. Me, look here. Now, what's going to be useful? Is that kitchenware? That's kitchenware. That's useful. We'll have a couple of bottles. We'll get a plastic jar. We'll get a plastic container. That's useful. Some cardboard and some wood. There we go. So, we'll grab those. In fact, you know what? For now, just grab everything from that particular resource thing. There we go. So, you two can work together. You two can start doing this stuff. Load up our resource pile. At the minute, we can't build either of these things. I think we'll be able to in a minute, though. So, Charity. Charity, when I bring over a cardboard box, which is not now. Are there a cardboard box or some rags, please? <laughs> Mr. Penge, if you'll be so kind. Young Penge, the survivor. Nope. None of those things. Can you bring back one of these things? Either cardboard or rags. Right, there we go. So, I can now build a little eating spot. So, uh, where's that? There. Loaf of bread. Eating spot. Uh, well, let's put it over here. Why not? Let's just drop it just there. Splendid. So, she can go over and build that while I am gathering lots and lots of resources. So, what have we got in here? There's not a lot left. Cardboard and rags. Okay, that's fine. 
she's building that. That's actually fairly quick to build anyway, so it's not taking too long. And yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. So if I finish doing this, what I will do is I will then go and look in this nightstand. Debris, there is something in the drawer. Oh, that's good. She's finished. We haven't got any food, however. There is no food. So we've got no food. Not out of five food. That's a bad thing. Uh, you go and have a look in this chair. That's fine. I have finished. Okay. So now I can build a wash area. I can put together a wash area. Oh, this hasn't fallen apart like I thought it might. Oh, there's one box. There's one box. Go and get that one box. Because once you take all the items out, that thing should, should disappear. Once that's gone. There we go. Bosh. It disappears in a curiously purple kind of neon flourish. But okie doke, that's fine. So now in this corner, we can build a wash area. So we can go and stand in the corner and have a little shower. Lovely. That is splendid. Meanwhile, Charity, sister of mine, you're still searching in there. What have you found? Oh, what's that? A food can. Oh, that's going to be really useful. That is going to be tremendously useful. Cookie jar, our next mission. Build a new wash area. We're doing that. Take the stock foods in the furnitures menu. Ah, okay. Right. Ah, little food pile type thing. Okay. So stock foods. Okay. Well, let's put that near to the kitchen area. That makes sense. And then we can empty the food out into the food sort of stock thing. Okay. That's fine. So we're building the stock food thing. Now we've got the wash area. It wants us to build a little water place. So just to keep lots of water, which would make perfect sense. Two plastic jars, one bit of cardboard. We can do that. That is very bright. <laughs> that is a very shiny water storage area. But okay, fine. We'll put that there. And the crowbar has been unlocked. So somehow, somehow, I don't know how that's happened. But somehow in between doing all this, we've also managed to unlock a crowbar. Goers. <laughs> Aren't we resourceful? Right, if we go to here, take all these items. Grab all these lovely things because they are all very useful things. And what am I doing? What's Penge doing? What's Penge doing? Oh, you're building the water thing. Okay, that's fine. Now, what I am going to do is, when you've done that, if you go and grab the last bottle or whatever it is you're using from there, plastic bottle thing, if you finish building this, finish building our water pile, whatever it was, our water sort of stockpile, that's fine. Oh, and I get a little sort of thing. Another thing has been completed. A dim fire, rags on the cold floor were the first installments of the orphanage. The next day, my sister was already feeling better and was ready to help me in the search of our parents. Yay! <laughs> Again, it shouldn't say yay. It should say okay or something sort of bleak, but okay. So current new mission, entry doors. Right click and examine the entrance door. Find or craft a crowbar. Ah, okay. So I've researched a crowbar, so I could use a crowbar to open the doors. Okie dokie. Um, okay, that's is that on the other side of the wall? Yes, there's loads of stuff in there. Uh, what I am going to do is, am I less than healthy? Yeah, I've got three out of five health. So can I have a shower? I can have a rinse. Okay, I'll have a rinse then, please. So that should be upping my health meter. Yay, it is. That's cool. And now you should be able to your food yeah so if we go over to the food thing and we go and eat eat raw so i assume we're just eating something out of a tin i would imagine that should then top up your hunger levels current hunger level of you you should that's not changing as i might expect bear in mind this is a demo version it's a demo version so you know not everything is going to be in place i thought eating might have been anything that were but never mind right so that's fine whatever now i have finished having a wash that's lovely and my health Seems more or less the same, but okay, that's fine. Let's search in here. Have a little look in this thing. What can we find? A few bits and bobs. Have you finished eating yet? Oh, maybe when she finishes eating, her hunger level will change. Let's have a look. Let's have a little look. So currently, it's just below two complete bars. And now she's finished. And that seemed to make no difference at all. But okay, again, demo version. Probably that's what's going on. Right, search there. And Penge, here, have a look at all this stuff. A little bottle of water. Okay, they've not put the graphic in for that. Carpets, paper, and a... Oh, a blanket. That might be useful. A blanket might be very useful. I imagine that's going to come in handy at keeping us warm, one would imagine. Do we have to restock the fire at any point? Is that something we have to do? Not entirely sure. I don't know. Um, okay, research-wise, what shall we research? A bed. A bed might make more sense. 
Uh, an eating spot DIY table. I don't know, but this is going to take a day. A day, a, a, a bed takes a full day to research. Whereas an eating spot DIY table, whatever one of those is, only takes four hours. But a bed is going to be infinitely more useful. So let's get ourselves a bed researched. That's quite nice. I like that idea. Right, you, sis, go through here. Yeah, we'll have all that. That looks like food, cans and water. That's useful. We'll take that. Food is good. Food is good. Uh, that's the campfire. Um, queue up a fire. Ah, these are the things that we've put in to make it combustible. Okay. Well, I don't know. Paper. We're not using, we're not using paper for anything. Ah, there we go. So you have to put stuff on it. So we're burning paper. I see. We'll queue up a paper. That's lovely. And we'll queue up some more paper. Yeah, why not? Absolutely. Okay. So now we want to go and have a look at what's going on in these other rooms. I'd like to have a look at what's going on here. What's, what can we do with this leak? Let's examine the leak. That's <laughs> exciting, isn't it? Go and examine a leak. Examine a puddle on the floor. Uh, and in the meantime, while she's doing that, you can go and have a look at the uh, that pile of garbage there. So what are you going to find out, sis? Come on, Charity, tell me. What have you found out from the puddle? Penge is crafty. Okay, is that good? I haven't developed this council yet. Okay. Right, okay. Well, I, I don't know what happened there. That was fun. <laughs> That was a curious kind of thing, but okie doke. So, right, you're just stood next to a puddle. So can we get into this door, say? So we can't do anything. Uh, break door action is not applicable. That's not applicable, and there's no upgrades. We can't do anything to that door at the moment, as it stands right now. So can we do anything else? Now, it did say work together, didn't it? It said, can we work together as a team? Can we both go and do something with this door? Like, there's me. Can I do something with the door? No. Doesn't seem like we can do anything together either. Unless we... Do we need to be standing next to it? Because it said, Penge and Charity are best friends. And then it, yeah, it sort of gave us the opportunity. It looked like we could then both, if we're in the right vicinity, maybe. Maybe we can both work on the door? Mm, no, it doesn't seem so. Okay, we need to find something to open the doors with then. Um, well, what did we find just here? There was something just there nails and what have you okay go and do some more research go and dig into that and charity uh go and i did think there was something on the floor yeah a trash pile <laughs> yay hey sis go and look in the go and look in the pile of rotting slime that's on the floor i'll check out the mangy old sofa okay yeah this this is less than glamorous isn't it oh dearie me <laughs> so this is why war is bad there we go right look through here what have we got got ourselves some foam as you would expect from the inside of a sofa. Um, yeah, okay, let's take a couple of units of foam. That's no bad thing. What's that? A worn pillow. Oh, yes, we'll absolutely take a pillow. That'll be useful. That'll be useful for when we get our bed researched. That will be handy. So current quests are find or craft a crowbar. Right-click and examine the door. How can we craft a crowbar? How does one craft a crowbar? Maybe it's a research item. Maybe I know. We've, yeah, I know because we've researched one. How does how do how do we craft one? How do you make a crowbar? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how you go about actually constructing one. Um, okay, what's in here? We've got ourselves. It's a crowbar. It's a crowbar. Yes, absolutely. We'll take the crowbar. Thank you very much. Also, there's lots of other things. A wooden stick, plastic bags. They're probably useful. And a plastic container. I bet that is also useful. So let's get all those things. Let's take all those things. We'll grab those useful things. The flickery lights are a bit odd. Flickery lights are a bit weird, but okay. Right, so we've got all those things. We've only got 15 minutes left of the demo. 15 minutes left. I've got to crack the door open. Um, does it mean which door? Right-click and examine the entrance door. Does it mean this door? The exit door. I suppose, I suppose it depends which side of the door you're on as to whether it's the entrance or the exit. Okay, the exit door. Examine it. Okay. So I need to go and examine the door. Where is Penge? I'm just sort of stood about. Okay, you go and examine the door. Go and have a little look at what the door is telling us to do. So examine. What's that do? Work together. Ah, okay. Well, let's examine the door first. Let's examine it and just see what it tells me. It'll probably say, this door is big, heavy and made of metal. There's no way you can open this <laughs> on your own anyway. So I'm going to wander in. And have a little look at what's going on with the door. So I will assess the door. 
I imagine I have to do this first. Resource stocks are full. Uh, oh, oh, I filled that up. Have I? Can I make another resource pile? Stock resources, furniture, wood scraps, and nails. Mm, okay. And what does that say? Uh, Eye of the hurricane. Wait for the fights to cease before venturing in the street. Fights. Are there fights? Can't see any fights. It looks fairly quiet. In fact, I think we're the only two people around. Okay, cool. Whatever. Right, uh, let's open this door then. Come on then. We can do this. We can do a work together action. If my sister also appears, if she turns up. Charity. Charity. Where are you? Not really working together so much, are you? But never mind. Right, we'll, we'll do this. We'll go over here. You seem to be working together very well on your own. Right, let's do that. You go and work together. And then as a pair, you might be able to get through this door. So what's on the other side? It's just the street. There's nothing exciting. It's just the street. Okay, cool. So where is she? Come on, sis. Let's smash this graffiti door open and see what we can do. So now are they working together to actually open it? Yes, yes. Look, so they are working together. I don't know what they're doing, but they're working as a team. Oh, that's lovely. That's very cool. So you could, I imagine you could if you wanted to, use the crowbar. So you could not actually have to find a crowbar because we found one by chance. And I think, yeah, we did research one. So we could, in theory, craft one. I don't know how, but we could craft one. But no, we've got the alternative option of working together as a team because we get on to then open the door that way. And I imagine there's loads of other ways to do it as well. I imagine there'll be like lockpick the door. I imagine maybe you could make lockpicks and that kind of stuff. OK, I like that. That's good. I like the sort of the uh, dynamics of how it changes. Right, we're nearly out. We're nearly out. So it says use the crowbar to open the barred doors. I'm ignoring that because now the door is... The door is still question marky. Okay. Do we need to do anything else that? Break the door. Okay. Do we need to break the door? Because working together didn't seem to do it. Can we, can, we, can we both break the door? Maybe we both need to break the door. I can't do that. Maybe because he's breaking the door. Okay, working together didn't seem to work very well. Uh, can we go in here? Can we use a crowbar on this? Break this door. Can you do that? Or do I need to give you the crowbar that we've got? Ah, there we go. So you're opening that door. Bang. What's that? The crowbar used to open the door broke. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> we found one crowbar and I've just broken it. Sorry. We might never get out of here ever. Okay. Are you going to be able to break the door down? Can you break the door? Um, seemingly not. Seemingly not. Okay, so we can't break the door. We can't. So if we examine the door, it just says, yay, it's a door. Okay, so she's going to examine the door. Oh, wait, maybe I've done this all wrong. Maybe I've done this all wrong. Okay, you work together. And you work together. And let's see if that works again. So you're both working together on it. I've tried to smash the door open, which is which is nice. That's good. If not, maybe we need to go and find another crowbar. So what's in here? Uh, what kind of shop are we in? Are we in like a little... I assume it is a shop. A retail store of some sort. Because they look like shelves. Or we might put things. A title. Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> Object description here kind of thing. Okay, that's fine. They're not quite done yet. So yeah, so we're in a little... There's a door there. Can we not go out that door? Can we not go out this flimsy looking wooden door instead of this big heavy metal door? Because that little flimsy wooden door will be far easier to obliterate. But okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll try and do this. Um, No, that didn't work either. This door is not... Right, we have to use a crowbar. Okay, how do we craft a crowbar? Because we're going to need to do that at some point. Is it in here? Do we need to build a thing? That is lit up. A workshop. Ah, okay. We need to build ourselves a workshop then. Uh, okay, in that corner, we will have a workshop. And in the meantime, is that me? Who's that? That's me. I'm just sort of looking pathetically at the door. I can go and have a look and see what's in here. So let's go and have a look in there. Oh my goodness, there is an awful lot of stuff in there. What is in there? Look at that. There's loads of stuff. Okay, all be useful, please. Crowbars would be really handy. Now, there's some, that's a plastic bottle. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, more card. Uh, metal scraps are probably useful for making stuff out of. More metal scraps. 
She's building the things. You're you're about nearly built. I'm just I'm just thinking we've got eight and a half minutes. I'd like to open the front door and go out and have a look around the place where we are. So you know, time time times are ticking. Times are ticking here, folks. We need to get on with it. Ooh, more kitchenware. That's good. This is good. Uh, how near are we to getting a bed? I don't think we're going to be able to research a bed. I don't think we're going to get that done in time, which is a shame. But never mind, we won't ever see a bed. Okay, you here. Can we make a crowbar? Uh, we can make an Aku. I don't even know what an Aku is. Uh, do we scroll over to the right? A crowbar. Uh, three out of four metal scraps. Aha, aha, right. Metal scraps. Uh, there's some metal scraps here with me. This thing here has got metal scraps. Absolutely, we'll take some metal scraps. We'll take three metal scraps. And as soon as that one is back, we will get her, we'll get Sis, get Charity, to make a crowbar. And we shall go and crowbar open the front door because teamwork just didn't work. <laughs> teamwork failed miserably. So now, can we then craft ourselves a crowbar? Okay, it's appeared at the front of the list. Okay, do that. Yep. Go make the crowbar. Go forth and do the making of the crowbar, please. No, you're not you're not gonna do that. Okay, maybe I need to make the crowbar. Maybe I need to do it. Where am I? Uh yeah, so let's wait. You'll put those resources in. Metal is good. We like the metal. So you put that in there. Maybe I need to go and make the crowbar. So we'll send you to there. And then crowbar. Craft. No, that's just taking it out of the lit. Craft. Q. Ah, ah, right, there's a button. Craft. Ah, right, okay. And because I've got a C in tech, I probably make it better or quicker. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Six minutes, 45 remaining for us to get outside. So now I've made a crowbar. Is that on my person now? How does this work? I seem to have no item. Uh, and she's collecting stuff. Uh, okay, can I pick me... Can I now go to the front door and open it with a crowbar? Is this a thing I can do? Work together or break the door. Okay, let's try that. Let's see if now I've crafted myself a crowbar. Even though I don't seem to actually be able to use the crowbar for anything. It's not there. It's not in my inventory. It's not just here. Uh, whatever. We'll see. We'll see if this works. So can you now crowbar this door open, please? Oh, it's going to take a little while. Uh, okay, Charity. Uh, charity, why not go and have a wash? Just go and rinse. You've been digging through garbage. You've been digging through muck and going through mouldy sofas. Maybe at least just wash your hands. At least wash your hands. Now, I don't think this is having any effect because this is a demo. I think it's just showing off the concept and maybe not all of the things are actually implemented because that's not making, that's not taking any effect, is it? There is no effect on that health at all. There's nothing going on. It's not going up, not going down. They're not changing. That's fine. Right. How are we doing over at the door? Have you finished hacking the door open yet with a crowbar? Nearly. And yes, the door. The crowbar used to open the door broke. <laughs> oh my goodness. We are not very good at using crowbars. Okay. So it says wait for the fights to cease before venturing into the street. I can't see any fights. So let's go over to say... It's got a not walky thing. Oh, there's a walky thing. Maybe we can only go so far. Let's go to there. Okay, that's unexpected. Ah, do we pick a different area to go to? So this is the area we live in. Do we pick a different area? What's that then? Apartments. Apartments, stash, church, clinic, condominium, condos. Wow. Destroyed building. Well, that's locked. Don't quite know why that's locked, but okay. Also, time has paused. That's quite nice. Uh, metro station's locked. Garage. Garage could be useful. I'm thinking the only thing we haven't really got much of is batteries. Batteries to power electrical devices. That might be quite handy. Let's, um, let's go. We haven't got an item on board. Uh, do you know what? Let's go. Let's have a look. What do we do then? So does this take us to a new area? Penge explores a garage. I bet my parents wouldn't approve. Brr, it's cold outside. I'm almost here. Okay, I'm here. Uh, it stinks. What's going on? What? Am I there? Oh! Oh, it's a little text-based thing. Okay, so I get to choose to explore the, bearing, uh, the building or go home. And I've got a little level here and I've got nothing in my backpack. Oh, well, absolutely. I'm not going to go all that way and then come all the way home again. I might as well explore the building. 
There's another kid here. Ooh, ooh, persuade him to join. Persuade him to join. I don't succeed in persuading him. Oh, I put, I had social skills B minus. There's an old backpack. Let's see what's inside. I don't want to touch this. Continue searching. There's an old backpack. What's inside? Nothing. Let's search elsewhere. Okay, at least come back with something. Come back with something. Yuck, that's rotten. Health minus three. Oh dear. So I've just caused myself some damage. That's so good. Keep searching. Keep searching. Uh, child drawings reminds me of better times. Mood plus two. So we didn't find any actual items, but we have injured ourselves but made ourselves slightly melancholic. Okay, do you know what? Leave. Just come back. Come back and we'll see what's going on. Oh, yeah, time pauses on these weird bits. So duration 149. What does that mean? So now am I on my way back? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. Right, you have had a wash. What else can we build? Can we do anything else? We've got this stock food. So we've got all the things in, haven't we, that we need. We've got all the things in. Um, can we go to sleep? Can we have a sleep? A nap or a sleep? Okay. Well, we don't need to really. And I don't think those stats are actually changing in any way. So I think we're probably okay. Uh, what about just clearing out some of this stuff? Go and grab this, look. Go and grab all that stuff. Might as well be doing something. Now, where am I? Where, where's Penge? Oh, I'm on my way back. One minute six on the way back. Ah, okay, right. Ah, now, I think this room is okay. Wait, was it that? There we go. So look. Ah, so they grade the room. So the heating, the lighting, and the amount of mess in this room is all A. So this room is an A-grade orphanage room. That's nice. This is D, because it's full of absolute tosh. Uh, and this is C, and the corridor bit is C, because it's not got that much rubbish in, but it's not got, like, a fire in it. It's a bit cold. Oh, that's nice. So it grades the different rooms, depending on certain things. Okay, so Penge is on his way back. 30 seconds until he gets back. My sister is digging through a mangy old armchair, <laughs> which is which is lovely. That's nice. And, uh, yeah, you're sort of depositing the last... Surely it must be the last couple of things. Oh, no, there's three more things. Three more things. I'm just acutely aware that we've only got three and a half minutes left. Three and a half minutes. So Pendra come back in a minute. That's quite cool. What is in this end room? What is in that end room then? There's a big room here that I don't know what that is. There's what's in there. I want to know what's in there now. What's in the big room? We need to make ourselves another crowbar. So I imagine we're going to need to get ourselves a load more metal. So, okay, you go here. That's metal, isn't it? Metal scraps. Go and get us some metal scraps. That's cool. And then where is sister? She's just there. She puts that away. Okay, that's good. Resource stocks are full of junk. Oh, okay, fine. Um, can we make a crowbar? Can we actually manufacture one? How much stuff have we got? Two out of four metal scraps. Oh, that's just really irritating. Okay, okay. Uh, can we find some metal scraps from there? No. What about, what's that? That's just some junk in a corner. We'll get rid of that. You can go and search that. And sister of mine, you go and search this fridge. The smell is awful. Maybe not a fridge. A kitchen sink. Yes. Go and look in the kitchen sink. That'll do. I wish it was a nightmare I could escape from. This room is okay. Not this one. This room is absolutely terrible. So yeah, I've got two minutes. Two minutes to see if I can actually get into that thing. So I can get into the room at the end. Uh, we've got tools, we've got plastic, we've got some plastic scrap. Yeah, it's not really good enough, is it? We need more than that. We can't upgrade that. Can we even build one of those? A resource stock. Can we build one of those? Was there one of those there? Stock resources, so wood nails. Oh, okay, so, oh no. We need three wooden scraps to build one of those. Okay, that's fine. What's in here then? A bit of metal, more metal scraps. What's that? Sellotape. Duct tape. Oh, yes, that's going to be useful. Uh, was there any wood over here? There might have been some wood just here. Yeah, wood scraps. That'll do. So grab the wooden scraps. Now, can we put things anywhere? E okay, we put that down. We put down that thing. How can we figure out what we've got? Is there a button for that? Quests. There, stocks. So we've got loads of wood. And we've got... How many have we got, though? How many of those things do we have? I can't see how many things we've got. Oh, we can make a crowbar. 
We can make a crowbar. We can absolutely make a crowbar. Right, Penge, forget whatever it is you're doing. Go and craft a crowbar in not many seconds. We've got not long left. Oh, yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right. We, our mission is now to get into this last room of the orphanage just to see what there is. What is this big room? It's a big room as well. It's a really big room. Right. Me. Go here. Crowbar open this door. Absolutely. You need to, might need to run. Leisurely walk is fine, but you might want to run a little bit because I want to get in and see what there is. Okay. So, and bang. And quest completed. The street had turned into a silent and scary war zone, but I needed to venture outside to scavenge food and, more importantly, to find my parents. Yay! Again, slightly out of guilt with the toe, but never mind. Oh, there's a dead body. <laughs> there's a corpse. There is a corpse. I completed expedition. Yay. That's good. I assume that was you need to go outside and look at some stuff, which I've just done. So what's the late, what's the next goal? Birthday cake. New goal unlocked. We need to tell me what the new goal is in about eight seconds, or I'm not going to be able to do anything with it. There's a body there. Let's search the body. Dead bodies. I've got three seconds remaining. <laughs> Poor peoples. Didn't have our luck. Don't look, Charity. Are they sleeping? Uh, yeah, I think. Don't wake them up. Yeah, they're sleeping. They're just having a little nap, lying in the middle of the floor, in some blood. It's fine. The blood's comfortable. It's warm. Uh, okay, and I think we're going to run out of time before I do anything else. There we go. By subscribing our newsletter, you can play Orphan Age 10 more minutes. Do you know what? I think we get the idea. I think we get the idea. That's a big room. It kind of looked like a kitchen almost before I got sort of onto this and ran out of time, which was a bit of a shame. But never mind, never mind. So, um, yeah, there we go. Orphan Age. I think that is intriguing. The only one thing... One thing that I would say that needs a bit of work, that the, in the immediacy, obviously they will work on it a lot and it might be very different by the time it goes into early access in December or whatever, or in certainly winter. But um, uh, yeah, I would say the inventory management needs a little bit work, a little bit of work, because I wasn't really sure, like I got my character to craft a crowbar, but then it didn't appear in his inventory, but he was able to then use a crowbar item on the doors. So I didn't fully understand what was going on with that. And then this box here down here, when I went to inventory management, it said, yes, you've got some scrap metal. Didn't tell me how much scrap metal, just that I had some. And it was a bit, well, how, I, could you give me a number of scrap metal? Can you tell me how much scrap metal there is? So, um, yeah, but I'm sure they'll work on that. I'm sure they'll work on that. This is a demo. The early access comes out in winter. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of changes. But I think that that's very interesting. It's an interesting concept. You're playing as orphan children trying to survive in a great big war zone. They look fairly empty when we play. But, you know, and then I I, was, I quite like the um, the little exploration bit where we went away and explored. Because I was just thinking we'd click on it and we'd go to another 3D sort of perspective place and we'd go and do what we did just here. We'd go to different boxes and we'd scavenge. But no, it's like a little text-based sort of explorer thing, which I was quite surprised about. I like that. I like that a lot. So, yes, a little sort of thing about decisions and we tried to get someone to come back with us and we didn't, although I wonder whether that's sort of hard-coded in at the minute, so it gives you the option, but says, no, no, not right now, not in the demo, you kind of extra people. No, 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 you must all be on your own. But, um, yeah, I thought that was good. That is a very interesting kind of concept for a game, and I like that. I'm intrigued, intrigued to see how it actually develops and where it goes from here, because, um, yeah, it's got a lot of potential. It's got a lot of potential. We shall keep our eye on it and possibly have a little look back in uh, in winter time when it goes into early access. But for now, we are indeed done. Um, so yeah, if you did enjoy that, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe to keep up to date with this kind of stuff that we are playing in the Geek Cupboard every so often. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. We need loads of it. More resin. More. Oh, scanning. Blip, 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 scanning. Where's the way out? Oh no, I'm going to run out of oxygen and die. They sound like proper killy, killy death rocks, they do. It's a watermelon. The bloody hell's that supposed to be? So when you fall down a big hole, you tend to die. <laughs>